I'm out here on my uh, new property today and I figured I would show it to y'all because well I've just about got everything done and uh oh probably within about a month or so I'll have it all finished uh you know uh, I think maybe uh, in less than a month I'll have it all finished and I'm on I'm on the other uh, last leg of everything and so I figured uh, I would show it to y'all finally uh you know it's just land it's land as far as the uh, the eyes can see and so uh this is the property that I bought and uh yep uh, I figured uh, we would uh well, I will show y'all what's going on with it. If you take a look, you know, a lot of sagebrush, a lot of sagebrush, you know, uh, I gotta go, uh, I gotta go get my uh, tractor and I gotta go bring it in and I gotta get this all figured out. But I figured that what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, uh, you know, I can borrow a uh, F-550. I can rent an F-550 for about uh, $100 a day. And so I can go rent myself an F550 and I can go and rent myself a gooseneck trailer. Then I can uh haul my trailer over here. I can haul my tractor over here. And uh I can uh work on this land and I figured that what I'm going to do when I take a look at everything and so oh Well, I guess the best way to put it is that when you take a look at this piece of land, this is a uh it's just a raw piece of land right there's nothing out here it's a raw piece of land and so this is what i'm starting with this is what i'm starting with and i'm actually going to look to uh turn this into a uh into a uh full-on cattle farm so i'm gonna take this uh, piece of land and i'm going to uh, turn it into a cattle farm and when i take a look at it well i mean there is some grass right i mean like uh you know i got a lot of these weeds i got a lot of different i got a lot of sagebrush on here but i also do have some grass so i don't know what kind of grass this is but I'll, i i do have some grass on here and uh well uh you know i'll walk the field and i'll tell y'all what i'm thinking what am i gonna do uh well uh you know what i'll probably end up doing on a field like this is I'll uh, I'll bush hog it, I'll cut down all the weeds. I'll bush hog it, and then uh, I'll probably come back over here with some rye grass. I'll uh, I'll throw some rye grass on the field. No, uh, and then uh, I'll probably uh, maybe uh, uh, I'll uh, okay. But the sagebrush, the thing about the sagebrush is that a uh, sagebrush when it gets real cold it'll die and so uh here in about a month or two the sagebrush should be dying on its own and uh this year has just been uh abnormally warm it was uh like over it, i mean it was borderline 100 degrees through october so it was uh it was very warm and i do have some grass on here and so it was a very 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 warm year and so the say and it's uh it's like the middle of november right now and it's still like 70 degrees 80 degrees outside 75 degrees outside so it's very warm but uh as soon as it gets cold this sagebrush is gonna die and so i may not even need to herbicide it which would uh save me money it would save me effort uh you know uh, what i'll probably end up doing is uh i'll probably just bush hog it I may just bush hog it or I will I will just bush hog it because I'm gonna have to bush hog it to get rid of uh you know and then uh I'm gonna come over here with some rye grass and I'm gonna throw some rye grass on the field and I actually gotta go check the uh, the back portion of this field because the back portion of this field uh the soil stays the most wet and so uh the people that are gonna be here tomorrow to look for water are going to be here uh tomorrow and so uh, they need to drive onto the field and then it needs to be dry enough for them to be able to get their uh, truck back here so that they can uh, run their equipment and i think i'm uh, good to go yep the ground seems perfectly dry you know i could probably uh, drive the truck back here no problem yep so uh, I'm, I'm pretty much good to go but this is the land this is the land that I bought. This is the uh, the accumulation of all my trials and efforts and uh, all my trials and tribulations. And uh, uh, this is what I decided that I was gonna do with my money. Oh, I actually got some, uh, some, uh, 
I actually got a pretty a substantial patch of grass back here. This is a grass that's uh, that's uh, began to seed and it's already died. But uh, I do have some grass back here, and so uh, you know, uh, I figured that uh, from the get go, I'm not going to have that many cattle on here. Maybe I have 50 cattle on here, and so I don't really, really, really need to uh, plant a. Uh, you know a very 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 high uh biomass grass i don't really need to worry about that my first year i can probably just go over this with a uh, with a bush hog i can uh broadcast some rye grass i can put some fertilizer on it and then i just call it a day yeah because this right here this is this is this is a grass i don't know what kind of grass it is but it is a grass it's not a uh, it's not a uh, herbaceous weed or anything like that and so you know i actually got a good bit of it and if it's gone to seed like this uh, i actually uh i'm not sure if this has gone to seed or if it's uh, i'm not sure what's going on with it uh it looks like it's gone to seed and then the seed is all gone and now the grass is dying and so uh, i do have a good bit of grass back here it's actual grass is it going to be the uh, the highest quality grass? No, no, it's not. Uh, but uh, I don't really need to worry about uh, you know replanting all of it. Maybe I uh, come through here and uh, plant about 20 acres of rye grass. I just broadcast about 20 acres of rye grass. I bush hog it, and then uh, if I if I'm feeling real, real, real ambitious, I can spray a little bit of Duracore or some Grazon or some 2,4-D, and then uh, I call it a day and uh this soil yep it's all dry so they can uh drive the truck back here and uh they can uh look for water see if they find any water but i'm just gonna put my uh you know i'm just gonna you know uh, no they'll, they'll probably find water and if even if they don't find water i can uh, find a way to you know uh but you know uh, accumulate some water somehow some way a pond or something and so you know, uh, I'm not too worried about it. The ground is dry. And if y'all see that field all the way over there, all the way to the trees. So uh, that field from there all the way over to the trees, all the way over there. The owner is also selling that land. Uh, he was selling that land. Uh, he, she, it's a, it's a uh, uh, you know, husband and wife. They were selling the land and they had put it up on the market and then uh, they immediately took it off the market. And so I'm looking uh, to see if they'll uh, sell me that land as well over there. And so, uh, you know, you see uh, the, the fence right there and then it goes all the way over the over way over there. I should probably actually start walking over that way a little bit. It goes all the way to that fence and then uh, from that fence all the way to the trees. I'm looking to buy that land too. And so this is what I'm starting off with right here. This is what I'm starting off with. Uh, uh, I figured that I'm gonna have to, well, I'm gonna find some water. I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna find some water. I'm gonna get some uh, water in here. And then uh, what I'll end up doing is uh, more than likely I will uh, bush hog all of this. And then uh, maybe I'll uh, broadcast about 20 acres of rye grass. If I'm feeling real, real, real ambitious, I'll spray 2,4-D or a Grazon or a, a, a Duracore or something like that. I'll spray that. But from what I see, I do have some grass on this field. It is grass. And also, uh, you see those are trees over there. Those are actually pecan trees. And so that's kind of neat. Oh, I... And so uh, when I get uh, when I get all this fertilized and stuff, I'll have a whole bunch of pecans over there, and that's also good for the deer and the and the hogs. If I uh, find a deer or a hog, uh, you know, and that's my truck. That's my truck way over there, and uh, the property goes all the way past the barn. And so it is a uh, it is a substantial. I would say that this field is probably it's about four and a half times larger than the field that I currently have, and I'm also looking to buy uh, that one over there. I'm looking to buy that field too. And that field, it goes all the way over to the trees, but I don't know if the owner's gonna sell it to me. And even if the owner doesn't sell it to me, I'll just, uh, I can always go and buy another one. And so, you know, I got, uh, 
Yep, this is my new field. I figured I'd show it to y'all. Uh, you know, I'm just about on the last leg of everything, uh, getting everything done. You know, things went uh, things went well, and so uh, things went well, and uh, you know, I'm just about uh, got everything done. And so uh, maybe here in about a month or so, I'll have it all finished, uh, and uh, I'll be good to go. I'm gonna get some water on here. I'm gonna go and rent myself a truck. I'm gonna go and bring my tractor over here. I'm gonna get all this uh, mowed up and uh, and uh, sprayed, uh, maybe potentially sprayed. I'm gonna get it sprayed and uh, maybe I'll plant some rye grass. And then uh, I'm gonna start bringing cattle over here and uh, then I'm gonna get it going. But this is effectively, uh, you know, this is a raw field. This is a field that is just a field. Uh, people have not uh, cultivated it or anything. Is uh, you know, this is what a field looks like for, uh, in the very beginning. And then uh, I'm gonna get to work, and uh, I'm gonna get this uh, turned into a uh, into a uh, cattle ranch. And uh, when I do that, uh, that's when I start making my money. Right? That's the big idea. The big idea is for me to go onto a piece of land like this and uh, turn it into a cattle farm. And if I turn it into a cattle farm, I make money. That's the big idea, right? That's the uh, the whole idea. I can start my own business. I can uh, make so I can make money, and you know. But this is what it looks like from the get go. A lot of uh, a lot of different uh, weeds. A lot of a lot of bushy weeds. You know, a lot of uh, you know, I got some grass on here. Uh, but the grass, uh, you know, I need to go ahead and uh, get some work done on this field. Uh, I'll go and rent myself a big truck. I'll uh, bring my equipment over here and then uh, I'll get it worked on. I'll get everything going. And uh, once I got everything going, yeah, you can actually see some uh, some new grass coming in right here. I don't know what kind of grass this is, but it is definitely grass. And uh, it's growing in. And so uh, this grass right here, if I fertilize this field and if I take care of this field properly, this grass, uh, the cattle can definitely eat that. But, uh, you know, and the cattle can eat this too. I mean, this is effectively just hay, right? And so, uh, yep, uh, that, that's good to see. I got I got new grass coming in underneath the, the, the old vegetation. And so uh, if I just get rid of the sagebrush and I just get rid of the, uh, I just get rid of the, uh, uh, the sagebrush and stuff like that uh, and uh and uh well the weather might get rid of the sagebrush too so that's a good uh, you know that's something that could potentially happen is that the weather could kill the sagebrush for me and if the weather kills the sagebrush for me i could just mow it down with the bush hog and then i don't have to herbicide anything and then i can uh distribute or uh, i can uh broadcast excuse me i can broadcast some rye grass and if i broadcast some rye grass I can just uh, fertilize that rye grass and it'll uh, it'll start growing in and I can put my cattle on it. And so, uh, yep, uh, this is what it looks like from the very beginning. Uh, this is the first time I'm showing y'all my new field and I'm showing it to y'all because uh, I'm just about got it done. You know, things went very well for me. Things went way better than I ever anticipated. And uh, I did very well for myself. And uh, I'm on the last leg of this whole thing, and uh, and I figured now is a good time to show it to y'all because I just about uh, you know got it uh, got it uh, going. And uh, in terms of like a spiritual aspect, in terms of like me, uh, I really like being out in places like this. I know that this ain't for everybody, you know. It's like a you know there ain't there ain't nobody out here, right? I mean, legitimately nobody out here. I mean, the the uh, the next human being is probably a uh, you know 200 acres over there. You know, the next human being is probably uh, 150 acres away. And then uh, the next human being away from that individual is probably another 150 acres away. You know, and this ain't for everybody, but I really like being out here. You know, uh, my whole thing about people is that I, I like people. I love the idea of humanity. Humanity is, uh, is, uh, is a wonderful thing, and we have the capacity to do uh, many great things. But when it comes to money and when it comes to business... You know, most human beings are not incredible people. You know, that's my whole thing about uh, people is that I love human beings. I, I love people. I hope that everybody does succeed. I, I do. Uh, it would be fantastic if everybody succeeded. 
but at the end of the day success is uh is is every individual's uh personal accountable responsibility and uh you know uh dragging other people into being poor with you and all of these uh you know all of these uh crazy things uh no i'm not gonna call it crazy all of these uh you know selling your soul to the devil you know dragging other people into being poor with you i mean uh, none of these things are that great i mean it's not a uh it's not a good uh well i mean it's you know and after a while you know you just don't want to be around that anymore right that's the thing about me and i know that that sounds horrible but i'm just gonna say it is that you know me uh in terms of a financial aspect something like it's like something like a point zero 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 one percent chance of success rate doing this well is 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 borderline zero percent and you know a lot of people when uh, you know when they see money like this they uh you know they get desperate and all sorts of problems they sell their soul to the devil and it's like uh you know and i talk about these ideas in terms of uh in terms of a reality if we're going to talk about a reality if we're going to talk about uh things like uh you know just the uh the fundamental ideas that progress is more important than the result you should not be looking at me thinking oh my god you know i want these results you should uh be more be more uh you know uh, interested in the process in the progress and when I take a look at this, uh, yeah, I got, I got, I got a good bit of grass coming in underneath, uh, underneath the field. And so, uh, yep, uh, this field, what I'll probably end up doing is because I'll probably end up working on this field here, uh, maybe in about uh, two or three weeks, maybe uh, two, three, four weeks. And the more, I, the more I'm out here, and the more, the closer I get to the finish line, the, uh, the more jumpy I get. I really want to get out here and start working. And so I'm gonna get out here as soon as possible. And I'm gonna start working on this. Uh, I want to bush hog it, and uh, I want to get some rye grass planted on it. And uh, I really want to get going. And uh, I see some grass coming in underneath the field, uh, on 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 the uh, underneath the dead vegetation. So that's very good. If I grow that grass, uh, the cattle will definitely be able to eat it. And so. You know, uh, yep. This is it. This is uh, this is what I've been working at. Uh, this is what I've been working on underneath the. Uh, you know, uh, I've been showing y'all what I've been working on, and uh, this was what I kind of had under the wraps, right? I've been telling y'all about this idea. I've been telling y'all about what I'm doing, and I had this idea kind of under a wrap, right? I had it, uh, you know, under under wraps, but today I figured I would pull the wraps off because it is it is go time right here in about a you know maybe uh in about a month or so uh, i'll be uh, i'll be getting after it and uh when i see a field like this uh yep i'm you know i'm over i'm you know i'm just gonna say you know uh, i'm gonna make a lot of money all right i'm gonna make a lot of money this is gonna be very good you know i just gotta get out here and uh you know uh, do what i do and uh, when i do that i'll do very well for myself and so yep uh but this is it you know i've been working on this thing for the last uh five months you know, i've been telling y'all about it i'm working on this thing i'm working on this thing i'm working on this thing and today i decided that i'm gonna pull the wraps off because uh it's uh you know it's it's about go time and take a look at this grass i, I do see a lot of grass coming in underneath the dead vegetation and so that's very good i can just cut the dead vegetation back uh the winter time will uh when it gets cold uh this dead vegetation will actually act as insulation for the uh for the uh the, the small little plants and uh you know i'll bush hog it and then uh i'll uh, fertilize it and maybe i plant about 20 acres of rye grass and when i do that uh um uh, uh i'll be able to put cattle on here i could easily put 100 cattle on here i'll probably start off with about 50 and then uh i'll uh, i'll get it going and then uh yeah but i got a lot of sagebrush over here a lot of sagebrush i gotta get all that mowed down i gotta get it all mowed and then uh i'll be uh, good to go and so uh, things are looking good i'm pulling the wraps off the project i'm showing y'all the project i'm showing y'all what i've been working on this is it this is the uh the accumulation of all my uh, trials and tribulations and my progress and uh everything that i've been working for and so uh i'm just about uh and i'm when i'm good to go i've made uh, i've made my peace with god about the idea i've you know i've made my peace with uh i've made my peace with uh you know and so i'm good to go uh you know uh, i'm good to go and i'm gonna get it going
And uh, yep, that's it for me today, YouTube. Y'all have a good one.